Qualified Opinions Podcast. Uh. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Only Qualified Opinions Podcast. I am Badger, and joining me as always is the man, the myth, the Martin. Hello. And the gorgeous, the gargantuous, the Gareth. Hi. I ran out of you. I didn't. Yeah. I, I, my M words, my M words are better than my G words. I, th- I think I find the M words a strong. It, it's more. audio. You can use God. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, if, yeah, if if you know if you could see us, Gareth is like twelve stories high. It's really awkward to talk on these podcasts. That's why I'm done for so long. We gotta find an adequate warehouse. <laughs> so we're basically inside Area Fifty One right now. There's an alien. No, terrible jokes. Anyway. Anyway, <laughs> we're going back to, again. If you listen to last episode, we don't want really to do news anymore. I, I've been off my news because I can't be bothered anymore. That's <laughs> <laughs> the gaming news. But it's mine. That's gaming news. That's mine. <laughs> the gaming uh, news team alive. So it's, mine. It's, it's not really like super current, but uh, uh, Call of Duty World War Two. That yeah. looks like a game. It looks like a, a Call of Duty game, <laughs> yeah. which I'm actually going to buy. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't think I was thank, you, thank you very much. It looks like a Call of Duty game that people will actually yeah, buy. It's and such I, a throwback to what Call of Duty was originally about. Yeah. And I imagine a lot of people will be more interested in it. I'm no, instantly it's, it's, more interested Because Call of Duty literally like so they, they, they went from World War II and they went uh, Vietnam. They kept on going, kept on going, kept on going. And they eventually and just ran out of ideas and they went, best be in space, I suppose. Yeah. And then... And when World War One, yeah, good show. I mean, well, oh, well, Battlefield. Yeah, yeah, Battlefield wouldn't have done it already, yeah. then, yeah. It'd be an absolutely fantastic well, that's the thing. As far as an engine goes, they always have a very solid engine to play games. It's always very smooth, and it's fun pick-up-and-play gaming. Brilliant. Yes, Call of Duty games. But I've never been able brilliant. to give two fucks about this futuristic warfare, but I do love a good well, World the, War the, II shooting about, game. The worst thing about uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, um, have you played Titanfall at all? No, I, I once again, it's... As much as I'm sure that's a great game, it's not something I've ever been interested um, in. My own. Literally, really? Call of Duty Infinite Warfare um, literally <laughs> did what Titanfall did. I think one of the reviews I saw just like, oh, it was really good. But you know what's better? Titanfall 2. So yeah, play Titanfall, that. Titanfall 3 is <laughs> fucking excellent. Yeah. Yeah, Do you right. want the same game? But so anyway, I, I recently bought Titanfall 2. Like, I bought it like, for £30. Yeah. And, to be honest, I would never been happy with the game. I have a giant robot friend <laughs> and I get to shoot people in the face. That's just a single player. <laughs> fucking fantastic. The multiplayer... You can like there's no interaction between, but you get to have like little commentary between the two characters, between this giant robot, and he's there going, and then he's there going, oh, I have found you. He's going, did you miss me? And he goes, I would not shoot at you. <laughs> that would be pointless. That's like the robot from Rogue One. Yeah, he's oh. like, yeah. Did you know that was? But me? not quite. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so Titanfall Two is a fucking excellent game. So I'm kind of hoping that this. Uh, Call of Duty, the Call of Duty franchise will be a, a complete yeah. reboot, reset of everything they've they, done. Uh, I'm not sure if you watched our trailer, they brought up you know, that little bit at the bottom where it just says this is in-game footage. Which, it's got to be cutscenes. Yeah, it's got to be the cutscenes. But fuck, it's still very impressive. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it Jesus looks Christ, fucking it brilliant. Fucking <laughs> beautiful. What was nice with that though, when it, I advertise games, it's like, to show the cutscenes and all this kind of like animated stuff. But it represents... It shows a kind of aspect of the game that's not really the actual game as yeah. such. Is it, is it, I understand it's the best way to promote it, but you're not going to play that kind of... Um, well, so it's the same with um, Shadow of War, which is due out late August, I yeah. think. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited. I was so fucking... I love Shadow of Mordor so much. Hmm. And I was on forums and things like that when they were saying, like, what would you like us to do for... Shadow of Mordor 2. More stabbing! As it was at the time. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. And I said, basically, there are people there going, I want character customization, I want this, I want, I want dual wielding weapons, I want an RPG element and things like that. And straight away, I just I just posted before and went, do what you did the first time, but on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like they've done that thing. Thank you for taking yeah, so the advice. Yes, the second thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it... uh, as the same with the original, like the, the trailers made it look a lot better mm. than it always was. And to be honest, I really enjoyed Shadow of Mordor, and it was absolutely everything that it lived up to in my expectation. And I ho- just hope Shadow of War will as well. Uh, just bringing it back to Call of Duty, is I, I am Call really... Call of Duty. 
Go on, do it. Do I'm really looking forward to playing the Call of Duty game again. Yeah. I yes, really enjoy them. I, 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 I but I just... Love. The thing is, I like the idea. I'm going to be disproven very quickly when I first pick up the game. But in my eyes, like, oh, a Call of Duty game, which I can play and actually get and be able to play it. All these new ones, all these ridiculous perks and ridiculous guns and ridiculous things. I, I've i never been able to wrap my head around um, the continuous add-ons and that. It's only so much you can add on to a fucking World War II rifle. It's, so, it's where it becomes <laughs> to the point where... They are literally like dropping, like you have to pay for cosmetics and things yeah, like that. Yeah, it's like, bring it, take it back to simplicity, great graphics, great gameplay, well, but, I mean, it's going to have a great campaign as well, because they always do good campaigns, but it's a good campaign. Yeah. Like, it, it shows like you got like the, uh, the D-Day landings, which makes me think of Medal of Honor, I, 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 <laughs> one of the greatest think, games. The, the best campaigns were Modern Warfare and Black Ops. Modern Warfare, uh, Modern Warfare. Modern, Modern, Modern Warfare 1 and 2 had great campaigns. Yes, two uh, got a bit yeah, two confusing, got a bit uh, <laughs> uh, but Black Ops had a fantastic one well, with Victor Reznov and all that fucking absolutely fantastic fucking campaign. Really enjoyed it, and just hope that they can again introduce like a fantastic campaign back yeah. into it, which is something that you can really get invested in. And it's pretty hard, like with the Infinite Warfare, it's pretty hard to get invested with a bunch of like cunts who you're shooting for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of need. I need. I need. Uh, I need motivation yeah. to go and kill. Yeah. Just what do you think? You're fed up of killing Nazis. Bring them back, and I'll kill them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Na- Nazis are always a good go-to. Yeah, I mean, I don't everyone, think anyone get, ever get fed up of killing Nazis? No, no. Yeah. Uh, it's why I like. Uh, uh, never played Zombie Army trilogy. Uh, no, I know what you're on about. I have seen it. The only thing I played, like, I think it was, I think it was Call of Duty, was like kind of like playing with a mate, and it's like download the thing we kill Nazis and you zombie yeah, yeah. Nazis. Nazi zombies. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, Z- uh, Zombie Army Trilogy is a, literally a game which is based off the Sniper Elite engine and you just shoot Nazi zombies for Hi. a good couple of lives. I've spent so much time on that game. It's You've unreal. spent many a life. <laughs> many a life. <laughs> Throw my unexperienced hook yeah. into the gaming on, arena. Woo. Woo! I don't know what I'm talking about. But... um. I believe there's a new Batman game coming, possibly. But, but there's always going to be a new Batman game coming. There's always going to be a new game. Uh, Arkham... The last one. Night. Arkham Knight. Thank you. Yeah. I should know that. <laughs> That's, I think, one of the only it's people who've played it. That's one, one, one of the only games three games, games, I've games I've played. That was one of the few <laughs> games I really actually expect you to know. Yeah. But apparently they're going to make another one. It's not going to be the Arkham series, but apparently they're making another Batman game. I don't know if that's... I thought you might know more than me about this. <laughs> Help um, me, Martin. <laughs> The, the game guy. The, the, oh, uh, they have they have doing uh, they have have done are, are doing the uh, remastered uh, Batman. Yeah, they've already done the like they've done Arkham yeah. City and Asylum remastered on the Xbox One. Um, but but like, with where Arkham Knight left, it would be difficult to do another Batman game. No, I think that just I don't know because I don't know if it's the same studio because Rock said he won it last ones, but like apparently I just saw a bit of a news article saying like. There's going to be another Batman game. And obviously it's a rumour or it's a fact. It's, well, it's, oh, it's always going to be a fact. Yeah, there gonna be a is fact. going to be they're, more they're Batman going, games. They're, they're going to milk like, that cash yeah. cow until it's dry. Yeah, because um, it seemed daft not to do it. Weirdly enough, uh, as well, um, sort of like weird sequels and things like that that people weren't expecting. Things like that. Uh, Bully. Uh, yeah, yeah Bully's Bully's apparently that's what Rockstar's working on now. Red well, Dead 2. Uh, uh, Red Dead 2 and then Bully. Is the yeah, Red Dead 2's been for a while though, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh no, Red Bull has been no, uh, Red Dead, it. Yeah, Red Dead 2. Yeah, Red Dead 2 is, is, it's got a release date. It's the absolute out of the blue that they were going to do a Bully 2. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is, that's what the question's been, is just like, what's next? Consider that. Our favourite of GTA 6. Out of all of Rockstar's games, Bully has always met the most controversy. Was Bully the one that looked really kind of animated? It was a, no, basically no, no. you. You were in a school, yeah. But, yeah. And you, but the animation was like, like the, the graphics were kind of animated. No, am I thinking right? No, 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 you're not. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> they, Bully they were, um, they originally were the same or better as GTA Three. No, well, basically, oh. Bully originally came out on the PS2 and a Canis Kingdom Edit. That was the original name, purely yeah. because they getting the name Bully was null and void. No one was. They were not allowed to call it Bully. So they called it Canis Kingdom Edit, which is the name of the school. Uh, then when the 360 came out, uh, was it PS3 as well? It was on 360 as well. It was definitely 360, but then they re-released it. it, it. Yeah, well, I said, <laughs> I've, I've got it because, you know, who doesn't want to be a bully? Uh, I don't want to be a bully. It oh, came out no, again under the name Bully. Playing. That's the thing about the game, uh, the, uh, who you were playing as literally fought against the bully. Yeah, but you did, you did have yeah, ways. Yeah, you, <laughs> you were... You were 
a bully, mm. but you spent the, the storyline with yeah. you fighting... But the thing is, like, I got a kick out of that game as a novelty. I'm very intrigued to see how they make this a good game, though, because it was tedious I'm, and repetitive as fuck. I'm more intrigued to see if it's a sequel or mm. a... Well, you're now in college. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's kind of like different. Like, I mean, someone's there in it's college. It's literally, this yeah. was the game. I never played. They're I not, they're never played. Okay, okay so this was the gameplay. You're, you're in a school. Being a bully. Being a, but you can choose to be a bully or not be a bully. Just like GJ, you can choose to kill or not be killed. But the main gameplay is, this person wants you to find this. This person wants you to shoot a stink bomb at them. And then also, you've got to take classes. So you've got to go do science. You've got to do, do English. You've got to go do math. Oh, yeah, literally. If you don't like, turn up and do these shitty little mini games, you're truancy you, and you get hunted you down by friends. Awful. You it's show, not that great. Literally, I played play <laughs> the game and you show up at a geography class and it literally shows you a picture of like the Americans and go, put all the flags in the right place and they're going, I don't even know where fucking Central yeah. is. <laughs> I mean, the best thing about it was... the worst game ever. No, but that's the thing. It, the <laughs> thing which saves it is, it is a Rockstar game. The characters are always great and I mean, really funny. To me, it sounds like Rockstar, like, you know, they have the GTAs and the Batman and stuff like going, we could probably make anything and people buy it. And it's yeah. made it's a good, shit I, game. But honestly, no, for me, no, no, it's like, going to take like, a lot. Because, like, the, one of the points of the game was that this kid who went to this school was uneducated and... Uh, Irre, irre, uh, well, most non most kids child. who go to school are uneducated. Uh, <laughs> well, like, he was he was a non fixable child and that, but you could ace all your classes if you actually put some thought into it. Right, yeah. And it sounds. But terrible. what what the fuck can you do with it to make it better? Because it's the kind of stuck. Guns. Yeah. So we need a school shooting game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go down well in America. <laughs> No, no, there's never any guns in it. It's all slingshots. Yeah, slingshots, stink bombs, bombs firecrackers. It's not a, never a franchise or a game. Mm. But it's there, just... is, there is one point, though, in the original Bully where the PE teacher uh, asks you, well, as like a favour to him, like one of the missions, you have to go into a uh, the girls' dormitory and steal panties. <laughs> So that it, it has that clear sort of like... Uh, oh, it, all dark, of it's uh, not quite right. It has uh, that dark connotation about it anyway. It's not... I can tell you straight, but it's not a game I thought would, there would be a sequel of. And I never never wanted a sequel. I didn't care for a sequel. I'm very intrigued to know how they've made this... Yes. How they're going to make this a successful sequel. You know, indeed, you know, it just needs a sequel. But on it, that does really well, doesn't it? No. 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 Let's, go. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone really enjoyed it for about I 10 minutes. I went, this I, is a bit repetitive. I'm, 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 go back to my room. I'm Mill. so glad they did the beta of that game because I literally I played it like for the duration of the beta. I just went, yeah, I'm never going to play that again. <laughs> like, I, I had enough of it in the beta and pe- there are people who will defend it and I completely understand. I'm, but I'm I'll, tell you, uh, I'll tell you what I can finally have a say on. Overwatch. Go on. That's pretty fucking good, isn't it? No, you can't say that because like, I don't play online games. You don't play games at all. Me? Yeah, you. Well, in all honesty, if Overwatch has kind of got, got me back into gaming, what? it is so fun. It is so fun. And for me, like, I love just pick up whenever you want and quick gameplay. Overwatch just sorts well, me I, right out with that. I play, I play competitive. And yeah. Like, I don't understand so. that. That's because I'm like, I don't play online at all. Mm. And the thing with Overwatch, I found, like, I don't play online, so I don't enjoy that game because I don't play mm. online. But that's the thing, I do enjoy playing online, but I... You don't play regularly enough, so... Well, just like I said, you say that, but, but recently the, I have. The, <laughs> the game has that element of pick up and play. You can literally pick it up. You can literally like go there and go, I want to play Overwatch yeah. today. You can play it, you can pick your favourite character, yeah. and you sit there and you play it and you have a great time. Uh, win or lose. There's no fuck, yeah, there's yeah, no I fucking about, there's I no can't. worries about story or remembering the buttons because it's the most simplistic layout. You can just jump in, have a quick beat em up, you all have, and then when you're done, you're done, no big deal. You have, or you can get lost on a rabbit hole where you found your favourite character and you can't help but keep fucking people up with them. Uh, oh, fucking Diva, Diva and Tracer for me. Yeah, you always. hate me because we talked about this before. I play as Bastion. What a cunt. And uh, I, I've got to, I, I had my own personal best the other day 30 kills, <laughs> no deaths. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm a cunt. And I, I love it. <laughs> it's more like, especially with like Diva, you know, like kind of that like satisfaction where everyone's surrounded on the point, like keeping it, and you just kick on and do the fucking roll and yeah. the fucking fires a mech off, yeah, and it blows up and kills everyone on their team, yeah. and That's they're all still on the point. They killed everyone. I was like, yes, and immediately got the new. There's nothing more satisfying for me than I send a bastion in his fucking turret. At a, a quite a good vantage point where they may be spawning from. <laughs> oh. 
and I'm continuously mowing them down, and then I just keep seeing them jump out, changing character every time, just getting more and more frustrated. Like, fucking me, if I'm him, he can kill him. No, oh, yeah. fuck. You do know you are scum. No. I know, but I love it. Yeah. <laughs> and they give me the power to be scum, and that's why I really like this game. <laughs> go, go back to the rumor mill. I believe there's a possibly a new Fallout as well coming. There's talk of a. Uh, Maybe passing it back to... Is it Odessa? No, Odessa, is it? Uh, Obsidian. Well, Obsidian. Still, like, uh, obviously, Bethesda. I don't, I, I don't know, because um, Bethesda would still always... Re- would want always to retain the right. Also, yeah. isn't there going to be a load... Like, they haven't had a big DLC yet. Not like um, New Vegas was in Fallout 3. They haven't had that massive expansion. Yeah, they had, they did they had Nuka World. Which they had like, Nuka World, which is pretty big. They did Far Harbor. Harbor Fair Harbor. Fair Harbor. Which is pretty big. Right. And they did uh, the automaton one. Oh, right. did, mostly, as well, they did like a lot of the workshop yeah. for like building shit. Because that's like Fallout 4 was like kind of building game. Yeah, it was a. It was so, basically, they basically tried to turn it into sort of like a Minecraft. Oh. Yes. Well, actually, so well, uh, thank, thank the Lord for mods because I literally showed up in my town, which I literally built everything for. I wanted to build a massive tower in the middle of it, and I couldn't be asked. I actually looked up and was like, how long would it ta- take me to collect that much concrete to build it? <laughs> and all I did was clap my hands, and it just appeared. <laughs> I was but like, fuck this. I, like I went back to playing like Fallout 4 the other day, and uh, I was like, trying to build the castle. Yeah. And um, I've, I've, not been, I've not been back to the updated, like, the, uh, the, like, what you can build. I think it's like, they've got a power door. I was like, what's a power door? It's how someone pressed that really defend me. And I like, built it, and I was like, it's not doing anything. I got realised I built a generator for it, and now it just stays open unless I turn the generator off. It's stupid. No, no, no. You it's like an it. automatic door. You have to hook up the generator. To yeah, like a pressure but it's not my door. It and... doesn't work unless I, I turn no, the no, generator off. No, no, no. After this, I'll show you my fucking Fallout tower. It's fucking yeah. amazing. But, I've got fucking rocket turrets around the top of it for no reason other than I thought, what if the Brotherhood of Steel come? <laughs> but I think it's not exactly a rumour. It's Once again, it's all like Batman thing. Of course it's going to be another Fallout somewhere, but no, yeah. it's because... Well, it's, it's just, uh, I think it's like, it's going to be another... Fall like from the Bethesda, yeah. or is it gonna be like a New Vegas one? Because like they're saying it's gonna be New Orleans. Yes. Oh, okay. Instead of is it? Yeah. Is that that's what, what the rumor is. Been... What is it with New Orleans? Mafia went New Orleans. It's been back, <laughs> that, that New Orleans kind of thing's been backing off for a it's, while. It's but... definitely kind of a place that um, Fallout, uh, the Fallout franchise has never touched. <laughs> but uh, they, before like, you see it... another Fallout, though, when's the new Elder Scrolls gonna come out? Because that's gonna have a fucking. No 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 no. Actually, aren't na, na, na. they? Was it? Is it Morrowind or something they redone? <sighs> yeah, yeah. They, they online didn't they? No, no, no. On the online, they basically mm. like opened up Morrowind to right. everyone, and they because there's going to be a, a Skyrim-esque, big old fucking uh, open world game coming before another Fallout, uh, surely. Well, no, because um, Elder Scrolls Online has Skyrim in it. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, right. you, you can literally like, roll around all of Skyrim. So you think that's their, their end all now? Just like, right, you've got it all, do as you please. Well, uh, a fantastic thing they did. Um, for new players, I, I think they're sort of like scraping the bottom of a barrel now with that franchise, with that particular like uh, property, the ESO. And um, they are, uh, if you start the game now, just say you download it tomorrow, guys. And I've been playing it for quite a long time. You can come in and you can come and quest with me because it's absolutely fine. What we've done is we've leveled everything. <laughs> and you're dressed head to toe in <laughs> fine garments and I'm walking around a loincloth. Yeah, like. <laughs> yeah but they've, they've literally like flattened the system. So this was quite a while ago, wasn't it? But, and uh, so if you want to, everything is leveled to you throughout the world and the world's open so you can go everywhere you want. Um, everything's leveled to you, but the problem is with um, playing with people from that, there is still the factor of I have certain like powers and abilities. Like I can heal like a thousand damage a second, whereas someone who just started the game can't do enough damage to another to the creature. So yeah, so it, it kind of like balances out like weirdly enough, but you, there is still a definite difference between like high level characters and low level characters. It's a uh, it's strange. It's a game. Yeah, game it's, what it is. it's a game, bro. Yeah, so, game, bro. Overwatch is good. <laughs> Bully's yeah. coming out, but no one cares. We're Red just Dead waiting 2's, on. Red Dead 2's coming out this year. Yeah. Honestly, the biggest disappointment when they announced Bully is just like, oh, so I guess GTA's not coming out anytime soon. <laughs> well, to be honest, like, Rockstar's absolutely fucking <laughs> making I mean, money. Like, we, I remember we did, a, we did an episode where we talked about the Red Dead yeah, tra- trailer. trailer. And that was, um, I mean, it's lost on YouTube, but I accidentally deleted it. Sorry, guys. But on the iTunes, it's still there. But, um, yeah, that was fucking ages ago. Yeah. I'm very surprised it's like, like, 
not come out. So no, no, it is. Uh, well, that's it. It was. A while ago, it was well. a glorified teaser trailer, though. It was nothing but landscape and <laughs> oh, it's yeah, coming. Man. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was the the, the absolute teaser trailer. But um, I'm still really looking forward to Red Dead too because Red Dead uh, Redemption was so fucking awesome. In fairness, it was it was literally kind of like it's actually not a game I play. I need to really play it. Everything really. Uh, it's like GTA, but with less cars. I've got it. If you want to borrow it, I will borrow it. Thanks. I don't know if you're back with compatible though. Yeah, yeah, it is. Sorry, I got an Xbox. Is it? Yeah. Me. Okay. Yeah. So I've yeah, got an Xbox. Three 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 I played Bioshock Infinite the other day. I had a really good time. Uh, please don't play Bioshock. It's terrible. It's yeah. a fantastic <laughs> franchise. Really? You don't like Bioshock? It's a fantastic no, really franchise. I always assume the Bioshock would be right up your alley. No, well, right I'll tell you what. I, I played the I played the first Bioshock. Um, Fucking year, it must be fucking hell, it must be about ten years. It was ago. a early on release for yeah, Xbox 360. Ten, ten, ten years year ago, I must have played Bioshock. I'm gonna Google when it came out. And, uh, yeah. I got nothing else to go Bioshock. <laughs> and uh, the the thing that frustrated me because I was playing Elder Scrolls and you had um the fighting and then you had a button to throw magic out of you. Yeah, and that was really cool. Whereas Bioshock, it was kind of like I had a gun or I had a plasmid. And it got to the point where I was kind of like... Smaller things can ruin a franchise. Yeah, it was. I, 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 couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't essentially th- cast a spell and have a gun. And it really irritated me. That I had to switch out and just fucking it ruined it for me so much. Do you know what just then? Because obviously, Badger, you don't play like online games. Like I find it really hard since I'm quite enjoying online games and killing real fucking people. Oh. Killing anyone in a normal campaign or anything, now, it doesn't get me excited. It, it does nothing no, for no. me. It's yeah. like I'm just killing AI. Like, yeah. Yeah. Back to Bioshock. Bioshock is 2007. Oh, see, I was ten, ten years old. Which I, I guess now. Told you it was ten see, years I was going to say 2008. <laughs> which I said. Yeah, I fucking knew it was ten years old. Great game, no. No, it wasn't that good. I was fucking. It's great. The storyline was amazing. Oh, know. the story was good, but the yeah. gameplay was. Awful. I thought the game, gameplay would, was fine. Would you kindly? Would I kindly? Would you kindly? Everybody, for no reason. I would kindly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, no, uh, Bioshock wasn't fucking over the top fantastic for me. It, the thing was, the game. I think I, I think I came into it too late though. I, I came into it late, like I never played like um, this guy and he was like went through his flat one day and just having a chat. He's like, oh, we played this. I was like, no, no, I don't know what the fuck this is. I'm not like big on games as we haven't established yeah. over many podcasts. <laughs> over many podcasts. Yeah. But like, he's like, I'll enter me. I fucking love it. Absolutely mean, like great st- uh, for me. Like storyline is one of the main things. Storyline is probably storyline is fantastic. Yeah, but I struggle with the mechanics. That's the. Uh... I think the thing is, like for me, like obviously I don't know, like what really justifies a good mechanics because like I'm more about storyline. As long as I can shoot people, stab people, talk to people, it's, that's all that matters. It's the uh, it's the same with me when it comes to um, Dishonored. Mm. I spent the entire first game on one side got that uh, maxed out my teleport and things like that and I found the game far too easy because I basically just teleported across rooms yeah. past guards and everything like that whereas other people like spent so much time doing other things like assassinating or not assassinating guards and that. I literally spent the entire game I'm like there's a room full of people here the exit's over there I go wow I'll teleport there and I literally just teleported through the entire game because the first thing because I want the teleport skills really cool and I maxed it out and just rinsed the game just teleporting away from everyone I think it's Whereas even... I completely understand that somebody who played it differently would have yeah. a completely different experience to me. Which, when it comes to these games like Play It Your Way and all that yeah. kind of thing, I completely get. I've, I've recently been playing uh, Ghost Recon. Oh, um, the uh, the new one was it Wildlands? Wildlands, yeah. yeah. And I have uh, been playing with uh, friends online. And I was just about to say, do you play with a team? Because I've seen that game and it looks. Brilliant, but I right. That unless thing, you've got like a strict, the thing comprehensive that, team, I reckon it's just no, a no, no, no. You don't even need a fucking strict comprehensive. All you need is another single human being. Because if you play it on your own, it's the most boring game you'll ever play in your life. It's so <laughs> fucking horrid. But as soon as you start playing with it, and you both sat there looking over an enemy base and arranging your tactics, yeah. and like we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. And I've been playing with uh, my friend Aaron quite a lot on Ghost Recon. And we made a we made sort of like a pack that we just play it together, essentially, and we go and do like things on the game. So I like, might play with a couple other people, I play with like a few others, but uh, I I don't play it unless I'm with other people online because it just doesn't have any impact. It's what you can do is like if you see like I've basically maxed out an ability called uh, sync shot, 
where you can tag four uh, three enemies and I can have my gun on one and then you press a button and they all just die <laughs> and you just shoot the last guy and it's kind of boring as fuck <laughs> when you're playing but when you're playing with, if you're playing with three other people and you do the sync shot and they all have to take the shot at the same yeah, time yeah that is yeah. It's much more exciting because there's always one twat who'll miss <laughs> and it's much more exciting you know, remind me not to get that game so I'm not that twat uh, please <laughs> Is that we're getting more gaming news or? Uh, there's a new uh, Overwatch expansion uh, just been. Well, it's it's been leaked. Yeah. Uh, it's the anniversary. All right. Okay. It's been out for a year already. Yeah. I've only just got it. <laughs> and you are. How gratefully that I ranted on about it so much. Yeah, it's gonna happen eventually, though. Like. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I tell you what, if it wasn't a bastion, I'd be doing I really shit. I've fucking lost all time of games because I I don't know who's. So uh, you or someone else talked to, and it's like, oh, Destiny 2's coming out soon. It's like, Destiny 1 only came out in the afternoon. It's like, uh, well, no, two years ago. Destiny 2's like, out uh, August, September, I think yeah. Destiny 2's out. I think it was after we did the last uh, the last podcast, you yeah. showed us the trailer for 2. Oh. Never has a trailer made me want to play a oh, game yeah, so yeah, bad. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was so fucking funny. That, I, I mean, was really, that trailer that's... was fucking great. I loved it and like, I like the characters and stuff but I'm not going to play the game because it's not my kind of game. Yeah, it's not my kind of no, game but honestly like, if a trailer yeah. can win you over that trailer I'd like pretty much won me over. As, 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 a, as a person who plays single player games I would say to you get Shadow of War yeah, yeah. and things no, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah but don't get Destiny 2 because yeah. that is pure <laughs> online stuff. Yeah. yeah I think you'd enjoy you play Shadow of Mordor? Yeah briefly yeah. I think you'd enjoy Shadow of War a lot more. But I that my problem with Destiny is lots of levelling up lots of you know getting these uh, modern new guns and all that whatnot. I don't give a shit and uh, I really will ne- I'll never say on top of it <laughs> hence why I love Overwatch because it's like pick a character you can make them look a bit silly if you want either way it's still the same character That's, go for uh, it <laughs> I, I, I was playing Destiny for like a long time eventually I got bored with it and dropped it but a lot of my friends like I, I think I got to like 386 on my level for my character and it goes up to 400 and I literally lost interest at 386 and I was kind of like don't want to play this anymore but a lot of my friends grinded to 400 yeah and straight away first thing i said to him was like oh you've, you got your character up to uh light level 400 and they're going yeah i was like and how do you feel and they're going i kind of feel like i've finished the game and everything else i do from here is pointless <laughs> I was like, yeah i got bored of it and just dropped it yeah but it's 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 a good game but i'm hoping that destiny 2 has more that I'd want to keep playing. I don't see that happening. I mean, originally Destiny was meant to be a 10 year program, a 10 year fucking game. Like, they keep adding stuff in and all the time, but it was that so much. Work, mis- that would work, though, would it? Mm, do you know what I find quite funny about that game? That, when that, it was like, originally. In 10 years, like, graphic changed dramatically, consoles changed all the But that's what they were. Plan on doing the but what I game. thought when this game first came uh, was uh, announced coming out, the buzz which I always hear was just like this could be like the new Halo, like this could be the new it's fucking, fucking so much better than Halo. But I always saw that as right a new story driven game with a fucking protagonist like Master Chief who's yeah, going to take. Yeah. And no one got that. Well, <laughs> yeah, the thing is, there was no story driven like there was not there wasn't you were Master Chief, so yeah. you made what you. Of, of the game you were you but they in definitely that missed a trick with that because longevity comes with characters which yeah, are like yeah. Master Chief is like, always going to be Master what, that's Chief that's why yeah. later on later on in like the Destiny series they started picking up characters like KD saw in the trailer who's there you know what I mean the guy the robot guy with the fucking gun and all that yeah, yeah. the guy that made me laugh my fucking yeah, yeah. head off yeah. <laughs> and they started picking that up a lot more and they've just recently got the writer from uh, Mass Effect uh, oh, from yeah, Bioware the guy who wrote Mass Effect mm. Uh, so this is why I have a raging hard on for it. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> it. But uh, yeah, so hopefully, uh, also the the making it towards being more like open world and things like that. At the minute, so like instead of like having to at the minute, like you you do a mission and then you get transported back to like a ethereal plane where you're just in orbit of something. Yeah. What they're trying to do, what that, what I think they're trying to do is basically make it more like World of Warcraft, where you finish your mission, and you have to go back somewhere. Yeah. And there's like camps and things like that where the where the people are and give you quests, which I quite enjoy more. I think uh, it's difficult because obviously consoles have the limits compared to PC. Yeah, and I think it'd be great to have um, that kind of involvement, that kind of like movement within it. 
you know what I mean? It's kind of like you have to go to a specific place to hand in something. Well, I guess that there's no wandering about aimlessly. If you always have to go back to somewhere and find yourself something else to do, you know, you always have a purpose of going back and starting something new, not just like, oh, the fuck. Contradictions to that are like back to the Elder Scrolls series. Yeah. Like, if you start it. Well, now, wasn't that big? Like, Elder Scrolls Online was based around sort of like a, a hub you got to go back to. No, no, no. Elder Scrolls Online now, uh, as I said before, um, you can literally walk out the door of the first town and keep walking, even yeah. though wherever you want, and everything's leveled to you. Whereas before, it used to be like, it used to be a classic MMO kind of thing, where it's the level 1 to 5 area, it's the 6 to 12, yeah. is that, and then like, so you literally were constructed to an area, but now you can walk out the door, I could play that game, I could log on now, you could log on, and you would join me, and everything would be leveled to you. But, it's uh, it's one of them, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's like if you've not got, if it, if there's a level, of, there is a main plot that requires you to be a certain level to be like to carry on with a main story. But all the side plots, you are welcome to just join in on at any point you like. Oh, oh, oh. games, baby. Games, baby. Shall we uh, talk about something else? Instead? Yeah, move on from games. I've um, got some sort of news. Well, we're segues into something I've watched. Oh. Watched the, the new DCMA movie, Teen Titans. Really? What's it called? <laughs> Teen you Titans. sure you watched it? I watched it, yeah. I can't remember <laughs> the exact title of it. It's got um, but it's like a... Put a new DC movie out, and it's got a... Oh, thanks. Martin, just give me a cigarette. First contract, or last contract, I was told. But yeah, it's like new DC anime movie, pretty good. Have you, you, have you watched any? I haven't watched any Teen Titans. Watched, do you know who the Teen Titans are? I know who they are, but I've never watched any of it. Yeah. This was um, like the lady was like Nightwing, we got Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy, and yeah, was Cyborg in it? I don't know Cyborg. Yeah, was Cyborg was in Teen Titans. I don't know in this one though. Might have left him out for G Justice League purposes. Obviously. He's in a Duke Justice League movie. So I don't want to confuse the franchises too much. But it's alright, right, Phil. I can't wait till Cyborg gets his own film, to be honest. Uh, no, I'm not going to happen, if I'm honest. Right. Obviously, I've got, I've got Justice League out this think, year. I think, like, after, yeah, you get Justice League out, like, I think DC will go, mm, we need to do some more. I think yeah. Cyborg will get it. He's, he's on the slate. With the Flash and Aquaman and stuff. Like, I think Aquaman will probably get his own film because Aquaman's been a major player in DC for years. The Flash as well. But Cyborg's not. A- 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 Aquaman um, saw a resurgence of the last few years because he used to be the. Uh, Ooh, the Aquaman. joke. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, fucking Aquaman. Yeah, that's like in the do. fucking. The, like the animated. Like the Justin animated to give him a sweet hook for a hand. I think, I think the thing that. I don't know what, what comic. Uh, it was, but there was literally a part of it like there's a guy in a pit and there's like two sharks diving through the air, like <laughs> biting him in two halves. It's kind of like, okay, you made Aquaman a badass yeah. at that point. I think it's obviously like his, his, what his powers is like mainly to fight. Obviously, he's got many powers, but he can speak with fish and stuff. So, obviously, the joke was like, just speak with just like salmon and shit fish. So, like, DC went, all right, sharks, obviously. Sharks, squids. Technically, not dolphins, though, really. Mammals? Because the mammal, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. But maybe he has some kind of like nice relationship with mammal with uh, the dolphins. Yeah, it's not in the ocean, you're not a fish, mate. I mean, he's not going to summon a beluga whale, is he? <laughs> well, he could do if he wanted to. Maybe. No, it's a mammal. Well, oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's Judas contract, I just remembered, actually. But does, does Aquaman's powers go to freshwater fish or just <laughs> ocean based? Kind of like, they do, well, he's got to try I mean, really hard to convince them to help him. <laughs> Look, I'm king of the ocean. <laughs> you might have heard of me. <laughs> I'm called Aqua. Aqua who? I mean, if you wanted a squad, of, like, if you wanted a squad of piranhas, you were freshwater fish. I think like, because like the DC, like, you got just, just this happening, it's coming out, they filmed it, it's done. But like, so far, they've not filmed anything else. Obviously, one of them's coming out this year, that's obviously out in a few couple of weeks. Like I, like the flashes had major setbacks. I don't even know if they start filming it yet. No, but that's the thing. There's just like there will be a flash film. There yeah. will be a Batman film. Well, there I, will be an Aquaman no, film. I think 
the thing is that there's going to be a Flash film because like Flash is a major when, player in the DC universe. When does the license for Green Lantern run out? Because I need. I well, need no, well, they're not. They're going to be a new Green Lantern film. film. There's been so many fucking so many ridiculous hints that Green Lantern's going to show up in the Justice League. Oh really? Yeah, a ridiculous amount. But there hasn't even been any rumours of who's been cast in it. Which I find very hard to believe that the well, it's going to be up. someone who's not famous, or they might or it's just going to be you're going to see the logo somewhere or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, it could be like is that a lantern? Because <laughs> <laughs> like, like I actually saw it today, like Henry Cavill was like going around some kind of DC museum. He took a picture next to like a Superman suit next to Batman suit, and then, like his last picture was like next to a big massive Green Lantern thing. So in the end they went, oh, we're Green Lantern, but like literally, like there's been so many hints, like directors of post stuff and this and the other. Loads of Green Lantern stuff going on, so there might be a Green Lantern. It might just be kind of a post credit E, mid credit E, or you end the film like we need help, and then Green Lantern's kind of going. Yeah, fucking, it'd be, it'd be nice for fucking Green Lantern to actually appear oh. because he's. He, he just... well, because it, the thing is, with just like there's going to be seven of them, there's currently only six. He's a. Uh, Green Lantern is my dad's favourite, mm. like. Justice League. Well, that's what kind of that's what Hollywood is worried about. Your dad's favorite superhero. <laughs> no, well, the thing is, like, Green Lantern hasn't had a good film to justify him. No, I think yeah, I yeah. think they really could do a really good. I think it's like it's a hard character that, so. to probably to nail down because like he's got this ring that just can do anything. Well, that's the thing. Like that kind of thing is like you can either do something. Well, they fucking it's hard na- to make it not stupid. They nailed it in the comic book. Yeah, like but the thing is, it's, it's in comic books. They've it? learned many a time now. It's very hard to take things from the page and make it not incredibly bizarre and out of this world. Like the film, um, the Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern film. No, 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 that, no, no, that but never no, no, existed. But, we don't talk no, about but, that. No, but but. What no, they no, did, what film? I don't no, know no, but what they did, <laughs> as far as what he did as a Green Lantern, it didn't stray too far from the comics. But what they did learn is. You kind of go, <laughs> go no. a little bit further out of it, otherwise it looks very fucking no. silly. No, I still I think it's like, it's, it's that kind of, I think like, Hollywood's got this idea of like, out of space kind of stuff. Like, you see, uh, obviously, Guys and Guys is very kind of like, daft and stuff in it. Very bright and colourful, very stupid. And you look at like, the new, like the trailers of Thor Ragnarok, that's set in space. It's all very bright and colourful, and looks from the trailer we got, kind of stupid. Very fucking silly. So, so DC's, like, it's, quite a serious series I suppose so it's how do you get that kind of out of space seriousness I suppose and they struggle with that without being a kind of a guy trapped in a couch going I don't know where I am <laughs> it's like how do you take the sort of things which Greenland can do and then let him have a normal conversation with Batman yeah. <laughs> that's me yeah. I mean I think I mean Batman at the moment is just on board with also if it's Batman. Justice League if you look at all the Justice League characters they're incredibly Serious reenactments of just the characters, hence why Aquaman is now this Samoan badass. Like, <laughs> I think you look at the um, the uh, Avengers, like they're about essentially everyone is from Earth, mm. where the just the half that team is from space. Once you say that, they have a god. Yeah, they got <laughs> super, Superman is from Krypton, like fucking. No, I'm talking about Mark, they have fucking Thor. Yeah, like. yeah, I think, but they don't really mention that, but they kind of mention it briefly and they move on from that. In, but like Marvel's like Captain America, Iron Man, like Hulk, all these human people were like Justice League is one from fucking Krypton, one from Amazon Island that's not fucking you know, what's the island called? Shit, I'm gonna really judge for that. Doesn't matter. Uh, a judge cyborg. <laughs> so it's just a bit of a weird team, but Oh, for the just League we've found, they're probably going to bring no, him into it. No, it's um, the other thing about like Aquaman, that, since, especially since fucking Moana. Every time I see him, <laughs> all I think is, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, if Aquaman was in that film, he was sorted right out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aquaman was in that film, the water was there. <laughs> so, like, that was Aquaman. Canon now. <laughs> Internet, go. But yeah, um, they're saying, like, what tea times, um, Judas contract is called. Good, sorry, it's got death joke in it, it's grooming a kid for no reason. <laughs> it's got reason, but it's really like some kids trying to fuck him, like teenage kid, but you don't know. Stop anything. trying to fuck me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah good. but oh, the, they're actually going to make a, a live version, like a live TV version of Teen Titans. Yeah. But online though, which always puts me off. Like in Netflix. It's not good enough for TV or Netflix. You've got to do your own like CW 
online version, it's not really great, is it? Do you know what I'm looking forward to uh, a season two of? Hmm? One Punch Man. Okay. Season two? <laughs> That's not a season one. It's animated. Yeah. Okay. I'll take a season two of Legion. Yeah. Legion was fucking... I'm only on episode four. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Great Christ. Guys, still not got around to watching it. It's yet. been one of my favourite TV shows I've seen in a while. <laughs> it is really good. I've sussed out some of it now. I'm on season four. I'm on so far and I've sussed out half of them. Yeah. Well, they've just yeah. done it. They've made a really enjoyable show. <laughs> yeah, they've made a damn good show. But anyway, shall we move on to the meat? The we're, meat. We're on to 40 minutes. So should we yeah, move, yeah, on yeah, move on to the meat? So, yes. We all have seen The Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Some of our memories are foggier than others as some of us to decided to watch it at midnight. Okay, I'll start. Yeah. Being the big cynic that I am, who hates <laughs> everything apparently. Yeah. I really fucking enjoyed it. Yeah, he did. It was it was pretty much the same thing again, and I enjoyed it a lot. It's not like the same thing again, but it didn't feel like watching the same movie again. Yeah, it was it was the same thing in terms of like there were similar like things like the start where it was like a really nice pop song and things yeah. like that. And I mean, then, to be fair, like the last one started with a woman dying of cancer. Well, no, well this this one started with. Group, so, baby group dancing. No, no, did it? Fuck, I wish it started with baby group. It started with young face Kurt Russell mooching about oh, with yeah, uh, Star Lord's oh, yeah, Star Lord's mum and then yeah, planting yeah. an alien plant. Which honestly is, is the scene was fine. Right. I would be fine with that scene is if it? it didn't open it. What I should have opened with is baby group dancing the ELO yeah, well, in a massive did fucking anyone, boss battle. Did anyone else get uh, super excited? To see young Kurt Russell. No. Uh, see them before Tron, mate. Did anyone else look at Kurt think, Planet Fucker? <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, like, I, I have no problem with that scene, but I, I wanted the opening of the film to start with a bit more of a punch, like they went into with the I fight know. scene with Baby Groot and Yellow playing, which no, is I think perfect. Is, I, yeah, could, yeah. I could watch that scene on repeat for years. I love that scene. It's brilliant. But the very beginning of it was dancing. Group. Yeah. That's it. With, with that full the fight scene, yeah, uh, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, like I said, it's, I keep saying yellow because honestly, that These, song is one I, I of think a perfect song. I completely agree. Guys, they should have started with that and yeah. then done the curve of yeah, something rather definitely. than do the curve thing and then do the. Yeah, the thing is when um, obviously after the Kurt Russell bit, and then you had the intro bit where like see groups just awkwardly plugging that radio. Yeah. Plus, they're rocking fucking see around. See baby group <laughs> dance around for like three minutes. I was like, oh, this is gonna be a fucking Baby Groot thing all the way through like it's gonna milk it because everyone's fucking gonna love Baby Groot they're gonna fucking milk the shit out of it here comes the merchandise yeah <laughs> gonna milk the, the shit. merchandise is there already every scene is gonna be Baby Groot this Baby Groot that but it generally wasn't like literally after that bit you did in it for like every now and again and they could just kind of like just push him aside because he really can't do fuck all as a character so it's good they kind of like just pushed him aside I'm dead padding because everyone else is trying to light a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, <laughs> no, the... Um, you know, what? Oh, sorry, go on, guys. I was going to say, like, that, that seems right. If, if you want to talk about Baby Groot, I was fine with how Baby Groot was used, if anything. No, they, they use him enough. In, yeah. I think it's like that first scene, or well, not the first scene, but like the first appearance of him, that's why I like chasing little fucking rat things. Yeah. The one like, thing I found a bit him, weird with Baby great. Groot, which I didn't think was the case, I don't know how Groot's creatures work, but I always thought that, right, so we saw a fully grown group get destroyed. Mm. I thought that he was just small, but still him. I didn't realise that he is now a baby. He yeah. acts like a child who needs yeah. to be taught shit. Yeah. I found that really weird. I didn't see that coming. No, I no, thought no, that yeah, he's yeah. a smaller sense, body. Yeah, sense, yeah. he's, he's literally, so he definitely did die, and he's just been reincarnated almost. I still, I still absolutely love how Rocket is still, the, or even though it is baby Groot who clearly has no idea what's going on but Rocket still understands that creature yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's, like, it's a bit where it's a bit it's where he like says that language isn't he yeah it's a bit where he goes I agree he goes really so fuck your language oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh yeah but didn't you that, that's, say freaking that's, <laughs> like, that's the thing about uh, Rocket he's, he's always like this always this badass this kind of like you know he's got to be better than everyone else but he's so clearly paternal mm. over this little creature I think I know through this film like, even though like it's, it's kind of like he's always He's always competing with people constantly because of his size and yeah. what he is, and he's like the only one of him. But then he's still so paternal over that yeah. little creature. And I, I, to be honest, like the, there's a bit in the film where they try to make Rocket look like a dickhead. But I think that that's a part of like kind of the plot though. I mean, not the plot, but like kind of like the part of the story is like Rocket is trying to be an arsehole. I can't see him as an arsehole because 
No, but I think it, it's kind of a bit of a contradictory thing. It's like he's trying to be an arsehole to, I don't know, protect himself or whatever else. Like kind of Yondu yeah. has a talk with him. And like they kind of, he kind of realised they got a bond. Like they're not arseholes, they're just trying to be whatever. But um, you can't do that with Rocky because he's looking after this child, essentially. Yeah. He's essentially his he's dad. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. He's like, he's, he's, he was friend with this tree guy. And then now he's like looking after, and he's what, was the tree guy? Grew. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, but he was looking after him in the first film. I that's what I mean. Like, he was treating him so like his child in the first film. Generally, that that character, even though he's a bit of a dick, is a good person inside because he's constantly looking after this individual and letting him be a part of his life. So me and you, bud. Yeah, mate. You but I mean, this is you a film. Are of, I am bad. This is a really good <laughs> film of character development. Could be cross board because the yeah. first film was Star Lord's film. The first film well, I think was... I don't understand, like, because there's a bit where, like, the rest of the, the team, like, Star-Lord mainly, is pissed off at Rocky for being a dick. And, like, he's got to, like, re justify himself. But, like, do you not see the race in this, like... Plank just... Yeah, that's what I mean. You know, I see, he's uh, still one, of my, one, of favorite, one of my favourite bits of the film, a lot of people... I don't know why a lot of people didn't like it. It was when... Uh, Rocket was pouncing about the trees and oh, things like that. Oh, that's, how could people not like that? that? Best some, bit some people say, some people say to me, "Oh, it was just some sort of like show of how fucking power like his, his like abilities." He's oh, kind of sneaky. Like, yeah, it was fucking cool as fuck. Yeah. That's what it was. That was great. I mean, just as a quick overall, like I when really I come to like because like the Robin just sneaking up on him, and like Rocket's already ready, like fucking laid traps and shit. And just blowing him out the fucking trees and bring him right down and blow him out yeah, the trees again. That was funny as fuck. Well. Well. Like, yeah. Way, yeah. way, yeah. way. That's it. When, I, when I first came out of this film, also, because I saw it uh, at the fucking midnight thing, so I saw it before all of you guys, a yeah. lot of people. I, could, I found it hard to talk to people about it, but I'll see no spoilers and all that shit. But the general consensus I have, because I love this film, I re prefer this to the first one. Oh, and the thing yeah. I said to a lot of people <laughs> was, I don't think many people are going to like it as much as the first one, but. I've been proven wrong quite happily because yeah. I, I think a lot of more people got it more than I thought they would, which sounds my, really condescending. My kind of thing but is it like, isn't as instantly gratifying as the first one, but I found it a lot it stronger. I don't, think, I, don't think I, don't, I don't think I like it more than the first one, but if, like, say, if I've had the time, I'd happily watch them both in a row. Mm. Which I, I did. Know, <laughs> if, I had watch, if I had to put a DVD on, did I'd put you the know, first one. Did you know the Chinese movie poster of Guy of the Galaxy removes the Sony Walkman? Really? Because, yeah. yeah. what, they're just like, no, no one here knows what the fuck because that is. Because it's Japanese technology. Okay. <laughs> For the reason. Why I mean, they replace it with another gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just reminded me of one and of my also, favourite fucking scenes. Go also, on. just want to point out as well, this is the only, I mean, this Marvel, which is a franchise, it's owned by Disney, is the only, probably the only Disney film that has... Sex robots in it. <laughs> oh, don't, no, if oh, you want to go down that path, mate. It's not on by fucking oh, Disney, yeah. though, is it? Let's see what sex robots in it. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Face exploded. I'm a vegan. That, then. What? Okay. <laughs> Sorry for sneezes. Talking about fucking Disney owning shit. So, sex robots, a whole lot of murder, <laughs> yeah. dick jokes, cursing to so as much swearing as they could possibly get away with. I mean, I love this film for it, but yeah, they. They pushed this as far as they fucking could. You know what I uh, generally liked in this film was like, um, or was like, the, the, I can't remember the name, the Sovereign, the gold people. Yeah. Like, the, like the, the spaceships guy. play, like, the play, basically play like space spaceships. Yeah. It's a video game, yeah. It's just that one guy who survives. I don't like how he can do this! And then he, he dies. Like, <laughs> like, you suck, guy. Yeah. <laughs> but I was, I'm sorry, I, I love this one scene, and it was the moment where I was getting a, a little bit Annoyed at how Star Lord's character was completely engulfed by Ego, the living mm. planet who yeah. has turned out to be his father. Yeah. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> Not really spoiler. Well, they knew he was his father, but you didn't know it was Ego. But if you, you gave a shit and looked into stuff, you knew he was anyway. And he announced it well. Wasn't yeah. It? Oh. But no, well, no, well, no, well, no it was, was it an official announcement that he yeah, was playing Ego, the living planet? Yeah, they announced oh, it. Oh, okay. Ages ago. But also, he's cool as fuck. We did it on a podcast, it's fine. I don't listen. <laughs> but basically, You're part of it. Other than I remember. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the thing was, so he was completely engrossed with him being his father, and they played catch with a fucking ball he made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh, so cute. I loved his character, Star Lord. I had so much respect and love his character. As soon as he found out that Kurt Russell killed the mother, 
There was no second guess. There was a split second went by, and both guns came out. He shot him. Yeah. I fucking love that. Yeah, yeah. There was like, oh, what's that? Snap out of everything you just taught me. Fucking die. Yeah. I love that. I was like, you know, my my favorite was uh, the development of uh, Drax as a character. Mm. Fucking, he was so much more evolved than he was. So you are beautiful. Like, on the about, inside. Like, <laughs> how do you feel about like Drax? Like obviously he's like him and Mantis. He's kind of like ugly and stuff. Then at the end he's like fancies her. Uh, yeah, uh, it, I, I found it like it was the funny thing because clearly he's got, he's got his own principles and everything yeah. like that. It's the bit where she wakes him up and he starts going, Ugh. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I actually love that bit. It was kind of like, it, it, it's it's weirdly relatable. Mm. <laughs> like, it's kind yeah. Of, hey. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> there, there. You see, uh, see Ego's face. On the planet. On oh, the planet, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The thing is, like, it's something like, cause they, he's meant to be obviously a living planet, that's obviously having in the comics. So I'm really glad they actually did that. Put him up the face. I was, I was pretty happy with, uh, what's it called, uh, Yondu? Yondu. 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 Oh, he, but he stole the, the film. Yeah. yeah. He, uh, I, I wouldn't say he stole the film, but, like, he did, yeah, he did a oh, yeah, it for me. Yeah, I thought it was bad. Brilliant. It was like, I mean, essentially, it was like, in a, in a way, I suppose, it's his, like, because it's, is his way of getting like it's just, just a bit where out. he get yeah you know, Starlord and like, everything like yeah. that and, what uh, it was and he says like you know he, like when he says to Star he goes I'm your daddy you know what I mean it's it was the thing it was a character oh, progression very fucking popping <laughs> 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 very popping Joe <gel. laughs> but it was a such more enjoyable scene for me if I have a kid sat behind me going. <laughs> for about five minutes so like but yeah that Yondu for me ago. stole the film <laughs> because <laughs> thanks to James Gunn or whoever's behind this the sheer character progression with him which they did a really good job of like basically they set it up perfectly at the end which I didn't realise how well it was until because I watched them in I finished the first film and then straight away the second one came on and how it ends on he thinks he's got the um, the yeah, Infinity the, Crystal yeah. and then he opens it and it turns out he's got it and he should have been enraged for how they built yeah, him, but yeah. he just laughed it off. It's like almost like that's my boy. <laughs> like I taught you well, you fucked me over. <laughs> I think I kind of, kind of the only thing you think about that is a, a scene though, because like he finds it out like he's got the troll instead of the gem, mm. and that should have really led him this way. It's like they're chasing him for the gem, but they don't chase him. Like no one's like, at, like no, no. Well, no, the, but that's the ravagers, the, the ravagers are not after him. But no, but this is no, 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 no. But this is how it progressed really well because. The Ram just started off by really pissed off about it. Yeah, they I mean. weren't happy with it yeah. because they're not doing that. Yeah, and that was a really good progression yeah, into yeah, what yeah. happened. So was, yeah. It was a... Uh, Taser face. Taser <laughs> face. <laughs> I, I, I do love that bit where, like, Taser... <laughs> <laughs> he's all burnt as fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he goes to the corner like he's shit. He pops in the fucking... Like, basically, like, where they are. And he presses the body and tell him, tease her face, said you, and she yeah. laughs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, um, another brilliant Yondu rocket baby group oh. scene. Do you know the one? In the prison? Yeah. yeah. The up, yeah. <laughs> he just keeps coming back. That was a scene which I thought was going to get old because he keeps coming back with different things. It didn't get old. I loved every single thing he brought back up to the yeah, seventh was, thumb or whatever it was. Like, I grew. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I forgot about that bit. Okay. The fucking, it's it's on the desk! Uh, what was your uh, thoughts of the relationship between uh, Gamora and her sister? Oh, brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! Yeah, I yeah. sorry. I, I don't think Nebula was used enough in this film, to be honest. Because, like, she's, like, dragged out in the first part of it, like, oh, we, this, like, cause that's, like, the, guy, like, the Guardians did that quest, or whatever yeah. you want to call it, like, to find that monster so they can get Nebula back. And they're tied in the prison, and then, then it's like it's kind of like odd, odd enough. And it's like there's bits which fine, but like Nebula really doesn't do anything in that film. Uh, well, besides continuously trying to kill her sister. Not really. <laughs> we mean not really. You know, it's, I mean, half the film was her. The thing is to keep lot, trying to kill her. I understand it's a lot of storylines. They're trying to like fit a lot of storylines into one film, but like they're trying to mainly focus on like Peter Quill and his father. But like I just don't feel like Nebula got enough. Airtime because mm. she's just kind of like by the end of yes, whatever you want, mate. Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but like by the end, you know, Guns Guns too, the radio show. But thanks, by, the, <laughs> by the end of the film, you don't. She's part of the team, but she how she's not really done. Like, well, she's no, it's just, a little bit at the end, but then. You know well, that's mean? the thing. They, she's not really done anything. But the thing is, the strongest bond they'll have besides these sisters is a sheer hatred for Thanos, and there's a really good bit which I never realised. 
when she says that we knew they were fighting, but then every time that she beat her, Thanos took something from it and created a Magnolia. Yeah. And like that's the most fucked up thing I've ever heard. Like, yeah, and, you know, in the film, yeah. The film, the film, the film, she says like he took my arm. Yeah. In the prequel comic to this film, she took her own arm. Oh really? <laughs> she ripped it off. Trying to escape something, so that can, mm. it's a comic, it doesn't matter. That's <laughs> but then, so like, it's, it, I don't know. She what have you want, James Gunn? You do what you want, mate. <laughs> but like I said, she, she, don't worry about it. She managed to finally defeat her sister. She had the moment where yeah. she did find her power, and that's all she wanted. You know, like, she yeah. finally knew in herself, and then she could finally have that moment where it's just like, now we need to get what the, the real problem is here, which is Thanos. The only problem for me in the film is where. Uh, Mantis is going to tell Drax what's happening, mm. and then Gamora walks out and she shuts up yeah. instantly, like you said. And she, Gamora clearly knows that she was about yeah, to tell yeah, her. Yeah. It's that point, like if that was me, I'd be like, keep talking, keep saying what you're about I think to it's say. Just, I need to know what I you're think it's just about. Mantis t- trusts Drax, but she doesn't trust Gamora. But Gamora lets it go so quickly. Yeah, that was oh, the yeah. thing. Yeah, that entire scene goes through very, very fast. Yeah, if, I was, if I was going to be like, no, you really need to tell me yeah. what you're about to say to him. I think it's that, it's that kind of thing. Like, I don't know, it's like, she maybe just bite someone and question straight away to catch her later. She's not ready. Oh, uh, it's day sex machina. For the plot, it has yeah. to be yeah, yeah. that reason, but who knows? Yeah. i tell you what, Ego, as the villain, fucking brilliant yeah. miles yeah, better great. than fucking uh, yeah. well, well bloody hell, it's, it's funny because like no, what, what was the villain saying the last one uh, oh, Ronan. Ronan. That's, I was going to say Conan. Like, that's all right. <laughs> Conan. Yeah. See, you now Ronan was great, but very one-dimensional villain. Yeah. This time round, this is just why I want to fucking villain. There, there is absolutely nothing wrong with a one-dimensional villain. The best villains you can always think yeah, of yeah. are one-dimensional villains. Mm. People who just want to destroy stuff yeah. for abstract reasons. They reason. are generally the best villains. Obviously, yeah. but that's the I thing. Mean, Ronan, he Ronan knew, was no, 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 but villain. Ronan knew he was going to do wrong shit and was having to do wrong shit. I no, love... like, Ronan wasn't like technically like your normal villain because he was like, if you want to look in deep, like, he was a political kind of guy. It's the same if you look so at... Like uh, a renegade it's the same if you look at um, Khan yeah. in the Star Trek film. The, what he's doing is right. Yeah. To him, that is well, right. Well, that's exactly what Ego and, Living Planet yeah. was doing. He thought the starting again was the best thing yeah. to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but my thing that, is, like, that, that, different kind of thing, because like, there's some, like, obviously, Ronan was a Cree, so there'd be some Crees who agree with him, whereas um, Ego was a Celestial. He's, like, a being that's been from the he's just singular time. he's one yeah he's, he's one, one yeah. person he's, he's outside of this. Like, there was a time there was just me <laughs> but like he's outside of his existence he's in a different universe a technical I, I didn't think I require like watching I, I didn't think I required that entire like cartoony pulley face thing when they like jump in different loads of people didn't like that I just loved that a lot, I people, thought, a lot of people in the cinema where I watched it fucking loved it yeah, I and I really I loved it. it. But I, I mean, I laughed at bits, but like you're not alone for thinking that I was stupid. But I really enjoyed that. I would have to see that once. It reminded me of. Um, you to see it like twice. <laughs> so no, it reminded me of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, yeah, where they, yeah. <laughs> where they, well, they, they kept changing to different versions of themselves, going through like warp speed or whatever. Oh, it was my, my, my favorite uh, part of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Is when uh, it's that whole Beaver box. Yeah. And, uh, he just walks around and he goes, We're in trouble. He's got like peril sensitive sunglasses. He goes, so, he goes, We're in trouble. He goes, Why? He goes, I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's my favourite part of it. I love that film. People hated that film. I really enjoyed that, that film. Yeah. Well, I, I read the book before I saw that's, it. Yeah. Film, I, did, I mean, I, back to Guardian, it's like, I think Kurt Russell fucking nailed it. Yeah, oh, he did. He did a fucking great so job. And uh, I really like to make sense to David, ha- David Hasselhoff. Yeah. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Two things for me. They I, think I, was the only, I was the only person when I went to watch that film. Like, only, I was the only person without seeing it. Like, it's a full cinema screen. And like, I was the only person going, Ha! Hoff! And everyone all the, <laughs> all the like, kids around you were like, Who the who fuck is, is that? Who is this guy? Don't hassle that. He's like, oh, he was in Baywatch. No, that's The Rock. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, what's the Baywatch trailer today? Yeah. Talk about that a bit. <laughs> um, two things which I could take away from our film and be happy with them not being there. It's not a problem that they're there, but two things I didn't need. I didn't need a David Hasselhoff cameo. I, I, I didn't need that. No, it, no, it I worked. Did. 
And I, I think, also... No, it made sense because obviously he said... He no, didn't. I know you can, how you can make sense of it. I do understand. No, no, no. He no, didn't, no, no, didn't show it up. I, I needed yeah. that. I, no, I, it makes sense. That part of the film, it lightened it up enough for me. All right, the other thing for me was Peter Quill using Pac-Man. <laughs> Cause I don't in a fight scene. Yeah, and I, it just seems so fucking stupid. And I also made me think of pixels, know, which made Clearly me sad. Clearly, he's fucking Sonic. The thing is, like, <laughs> well, I've got a good contrast of because I'm like a fucking nerd, and I've got misses a normal human being. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm watching going that that fight scene. He turns over to Pac-Man. I was like, okay. I was went, <laughs> Pac-Man. I was like, yes. The thing from earlier they said. <laughs> well done, darling. Well done. <laughs> the thing as I know of a cinema review because they said the thing earlier, so you found it funny, and I found it kind of funny, but that's the kind of the, the, that's why they did it because a normal person going to see the film. It made me raise an eyebrow. Just go. Like, no, but the thing is, a normal person going to see the film. Because they reference it earlier, they'll find it funny. Yeah, to be honest, despite my last comment before, like, I, it's not not like, funny. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm not saying it's funny, but it was well placed. I found it. I found it amusing. Not trying to be a dick. We sound like dickheads right now. <laughs> I, 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 I found it. I found it funny, but like obviously, like for everybody else, it was, it was still humor. You, you just got it's up. To, it's, it's, not, it's up to you to decide just, what you think like, is silly. It's not just for dickheads. I found. Yeah, I found the continuously changing to smoothing faces. I like that. Keep that in. But I didn't like Pac Man. But other people that, like the Pac Man, but don't like the fucking wolf faces. In sense, that is Pete Quill's character to do that because he's a fucking dickhead. <laughs> so why would you not? Pac-Man. Do you think um, so? Obviously, when Ego died, he made sure to let Peter Quill know that like, you will never find have these powers. You'll never be able to. He's not. Can I get now? No, I think he's. I think he's still gonna find power. I, I think, think he's that, still. I think they purposely made him a human guy again because, oh, like, they don't. No, no, they made him a human guy again because the next film that he's gonna be in is Infinity War. Is Infinity War. So no, you can't, you can't I think, have I think like, if, if he is half, he is half celestial at this point. He still retain. He would still retain a certain amount of power. Yeah, I, that's the thing. I think they, they, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not as much as ego. Yeah, maybe he just still to help. Yeah, he definitely he, still has power. He'll definitely have enough right? power to. Yeah. That thing is like influence. yeah, I suppose because yeah, like the next film is Infinity War, where you've got like Gamora, who's like the daughter of Thanos, and like Drax is fucking whatever and Groot and stuff. So yeah, Pete Quill just as a human will not be enough for Thanos. Well, the thing is about this film, it explains. The first one, when they had the Infinity, mm-hmm. when he held the Infinity Stone, fair enough. Like he's he's yeah, out. He can't tie it up as well. Yeah, he can't yeah. take all the power himself, but through the power of friendship, <laughs> they they can do it together. I see when you always like that, like that. No one cares about this because this is not comic book origin at all. No, like it's, in comic books, he's just in, like he's just like a normal guy from like a different planet with like the human kind of people, with no powers or anything, nothing special about him. But like it's Guardians of the Galaxy and not Spider Man. <laughs> no one gives a shit. It's like, yeah, that's fine. Change what you want, Marvel. I just love these films. See, I didn't even know that uh, it was only quite recently that I don't follow things too much. I'm not quite in depth. I only recently found out that they are definitely like they filmed and completed for Infinity War. Yeah, yeah. not compl- I think it's still filming now. No, no, all, all guard. Well, all Guardians parts have been um, oh, right, filmed in it. Yeah. And uh, all that made me think is this film's going to be. It's, they they have a hard job for this not to be a stupidly, like over the top film. No, my my. Only... It's got so many fucking characters in this film Who's now. Who's doing Infinity War director wise? Oh god, I don't know. I, I, you carry on. I, I, my I'll only reservation about Guardians of the Galaxy is that Star Lord knows he was born on Earth. So why has he never been back there? I mean. He clearly lives in the universe where it's capable to go back there. Not necessarily. How's it not? Because I'm... He managed to go to the fucking other end I of the universe. I presume that, like, why would he go back there if his mum's dead? Exactly. So he's got no reason to go back to Earth. No, he's but got no ties as an Earthling, he has the potential to. Maybe just it's too never sad. Addressed. It's never addressed. Maybe it's just too sad to go back. That's, that'd be fine, by the way. Because the thing is, like, he's made his dad. But then as soon as his dad says he killed his mum, he shot him and shot the guy twelve times. So yeah. why would he go back to work? Uh, the director of Infinity War is the same director for Civil War and Winter Soldier. <sighs> serious film then. It's I, just it's, like even Civil War, like I serious as Marvel film. I I didn't massively get behind Civil War and I thought is too many people in that. And now you've got Guardians think, coming in as well and yeah. you're gonna have new characters coming in as well. <laughs> 
I think they managed him pretty well, though. I think it's going to be more like... No, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be your main Avengers team. With the cage on guard. I think it's really cluster. No, you've got Doctor uh, Strange in it as well. <laughs> I, I think I think it will be an absolute clusterfuck where what will they do? They'll have to. And they got Spider Man now, and they got Black Panther now, and you got Ant Man there. You got, there. There. You you got, got the Wasp in I there. I think they'll have to mention everyone. Yeah, and what they'll say is like, like wasp. they'll go, "What about the guys in the Go, "Don't worry, the guys in the galaxy will sort that out." I think that's what'll happen. I think literally, I think we're fucking. The, the, yeah, the family fucking else. pounded. No, no, no. They will. They will be way. there because I'm. What was I? I think it was Chris Jericho's podcast. Um, Dave Batista, the guy who plays Drax, yeah, sure was so. in that, and he was talking about scenes with uh, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. So at some point they are going to come in, you know, relations with them. It's not going to be a passing thought. It's like they've got it up there. We'll have it down here. You know. <laughs> he only sat filming like Infinity War. What, like a month ago? Mm. Oh, they, I, I, I mean, they can't have too big a part. No, I think it's more like they might come in and just like maybe just fight some like subpar like like minions or something. Mm. And like while they're and also we, we've just seen fight. the behind the scenes thing where it was Spider Man, Iron Man, and Star Lord all together on the same set. May, actually, saying that it might be what it might do is like obviously like the lower characters. Yeah, so you might get like your Star Lord. Iron Man, Captain America, Spider Man, maybe fight Thanos, while the rest of everyone else fights like the minions. Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. That's it, but when you've got like Hulk and Thor and Captain America and fucking Iron Man, and then what Star Wars shows up, that? after that point, you're like, sorry, you don't need to be here, mate, we've got this. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> uh, it's like, it's like, what, what are they doing, this uh, Star Lord? Well, in saying that, uh, what the fuck is Hawkeye doing? <laughs> 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 he shoots fucking balls and I remember who's shot me okay it's it's Star, Lord show, Star Lord is immediately a better than Hawkeye they've got their work cut out for this film to work with this many characters I think, they have got their work cut out if there's any like studio cinema thing Marvel's got it yeah. it's but that's the thing it's either going to be a film where you continuously have your mouth wide open in awe of what they've managed to pull off Literally. Or you're meant- pulling a very confused face, like you probably pulled during Batman vs Superman for his That's entire day going, I don't I get why, I don't why they, they, how are they... Put this way, right? Okay, they managed to do Avengers very well, they managed to do Civil War very well. DC didn't do very well with two superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, say, I, think, right, well, I think most though, like, if it comes to like the big, like, civil, uh, the big fucking film, like the big Marvel film, which we're all waiting yeah. for, everything like that, I think that it would Gold be the point the where TV, so like like oh there's a space belt oh and someone will go oh we'll, we'll get the guy into the galaxy yeah. on it and you will see them for like five seconds and then it's yeah. done. I think at the end day like they've been building for there's too many characters too many well established characters. But they're they building to like build what's it no 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 they're building to what's it gauntlet that's that, that's what's going to be for a gauntlet, gauntlet. Well, it? Been, and they have to put everyone in that. They've one. been building to this film for nearly ten years over ten years actually. Actually, no, when was it came out? When did the events come out? It will, like, it will be by the time it comes to the conclusion. Tell, like, five years. No, when it comes to the conclusion, it would be But you've been this film for five years. not going to go into rushed and fuck it up. You've been building this film for five years. not going to go sat home on the couch going, I don't think they're going to oh, purposely shit, write a film. I don't think they're going to purposely fuck it up. All I'm saying is, I find it hard to believe that you can have a, a conclusion film with this many characters you've built in one and it to not be oversaturated. Like, I think I'm generally, like, they do need like one film, maybe two. Because like the, it was maybe in two parts, but now they put it down to one. So there might be a fuckers over there. Well, no, it's still part. two parts. It's just but, not going to be called part one, part yeah, two. Yeah, but like they're probably going to just some characters aren't getting a lot of screen time. So who's getting killed before the final film? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Captain America's going to go. Iron Man's going to go. Iron Man's not going to go. Mm-hmm. Definitely, Iron Man's going to go. Not both of them. Yeah, definitely. Is that how they finally saw the Civil War? Well, they're both dead, so fuck them. They're coming to come to the end of their contracts. (laughs) No, not like cinema-wise, they're coming to the end of their contracts. That's a fucking big move, though, to like... You can't have, like, the same... (laughs) How many more Iron Man films? For a studio to kill a character. That's what I mean, it's a big move. And that's what what it'll get people in the cinemas. If you get the death of Iron Man in a film... People are fucking piling for that and watching. Yeah, no one gives a shit about the death like, of Superman. 
Robert Downey's fucking got all his fucking <laughs> well, millions. I admire his attention to the Fast and the Furious of the fucking. Yeah, but not, not, not his either. solo films, though. His solo films are shit. Fucking Fate of the Furious. Fate of the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Man is only good in the collateral films. He's not good in his solo films. Hmm. So he's only useful in his solo films. Last good Iron Man film. I loved Iron Man 3. I thought it was really good. No, it was not good. It was, it was good. Iron Man 2 was effect. fucking awesome. Yeah, Iron Man 2 was fine. Iron Man 2 was shit. But he's not the, <laughs> was, like, the last... Iron Man 3 was, what, five, four years ago? Oh, I really enjoyed that. Just after Avengers? So, they're not going to keep using that character because he's not lucrative on his own. They're only doing four now on Garrett and Galaxy and Iron Man. But if um, Stark dies, they still have a fuckload of suits. They can replace... Iron Man with another character because he's still got the suits. Because in the comics now it's a young black woman, so they can easily Tony Stark or Rob Downey and the girls and replace him with somebody else because they still got suits. Yeah, it's easy. It's fine. Same with Captain America. You can replace Captain America. You've done it in the comics. So you have no worries about this film just being no. fucking stupid. No. I think Infinity War will be great. I think it'll be a really good film. It's just so many. Yeah, so many characters, but I think Marvel have had the time to work it out, plan it, and they have done, because they've been planning this since... I re- I'm going to make a Avengers. spreadsheet showing every the, single the, character. The, the first <laughs> Infinity Stone shown up in, what was the first Infinity Stone shown up in, like, Thor? Was it, like, 2002 or something? No, <laughs> that I is wrong. I don't, I don't care. Thor didn't come out, like, three years after X-Men. I don't know when it came out, man. But it's been a while. Anyway, don't matter. Go back to Garden of the Galaxy. We talked about this as well. Are we at, uh, well, oh, the, who, who shed a tear over Yondu? I, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, like, not a character I would shed a tear about. I didn't shed a tear, but fuck me. They, no, I, I, I kind of thought, like, at, at that point in the film where. They kind of, it's because he made a connection they as did, a father to Peter Quill. They did a good job of was, making was, you care about a character. It, it wasn't even the point where it's kind of like. You already knew that relationship, mm-hmm. and that was fine. And you sort of knew it, but you didn't know it, No. Yeah. That's what I felt. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, because like, they always portrayed this kind of like, you kidnapped me as a fucking asshole, they always went to eat yeah. me. Yeah. No, that's the thing. Like, I actually saved you from being yeah. another fucking victim. Yeah. But yeah. the, the, the um, <laughs> it's quite, the only problem I had with it is as soon as they started giving him a like about half of the film and they were giving him a lot of screen time they are giving him a lot of depth to Yondu and I was just like oh he's going to die isn't he <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I think it's kind of I didn't want anyone to die in the film essentially but I think it's kind of good they did it in a way in a sense yeah it, again it was that uh, to me it was, it was really it was that uh, step daddy kind of vibe no that's what the whole thing was it yeah. was it was your non-blood family. It was, it was yeah. a story of how you don't have to be blood to uh, be family. Yeah, yeah. No, Pete was like, but also, you have to remember that he was a complete bastard to start a Absolute complete bastard. But, yeah, okay, no, the that, that was outweighed by the fact that he stopped him from being killed. Or that he, no, was, he, that, he that was his main thing. thing was like, like, Pete Quill was always looking for his actual dad. But his actual dad was always there. His dad was always there. He was That thing. So, it's got a nice message, really. So, so we'll wrap this up anyway. Yeah. So, so that's a slow. Do you want to talk about the the uh, title, the post title scene before we go? Go on. Just mainly because it's still on. The, um, with the uh, original Guardians. Yeah, baby. Yeah, which I had no idea about. I had to look that up. But those characters <laughs> were so interesting. I was like, what is this? And I feel like they they showed it away where I was just like. Am I an idiot for not knowing who these are? <laughs> <laughs> I think when Sloan saw up first, I was like, that's probably important, I should know this. Yeah. Also, sorry, Badger, but mine, you might appreciate, uh, this is what, as soon as I saw all those different characters, Stallone's like original Guardians gang, I was just like, I can these all be new characters in Overwatch? <laughs> <laughs> they're all, they're all, they're all well, we'll Marvel, get a Doom Fist soon, hopefully. Not probably not, because they're all by Marvel. We're all screwed for Doom Fist. Doomfist. <laughs> but they they were great, and yeah. I wanted I I if that if that end credit scene of him talking to them and getting a bit of an overlook on the, this original guys group, if that becomes a spin off, I am in. I want to know everything about all of them. I was upset, like because like Salome's character when I learned who it was was like when the the, the uh, guns comic I read, he was like a big player in that comic. 
So it's kind of like, it's quite like that, but it's fine. But, um, you remember the robot head? Mm-hmm. That's Miley Cyrus. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, that's Miley yeah, Cyrus. Yeah, the robot head is Miley Cyrus, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess we don't, at least we don't have to look at it. So, <laughs> one of the greatest films that's released this year has been ruined because Miley Cyrus does it. It hasn't been. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the greatest thing about this film know, is they put Miley Cyrus in it and it didn't ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I look at it. You did one thing right, Miley Cyrus. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. But that that is an incredible scene. Really good. That all that made me want is more. Uh, Jeff Goldblum as well. Jeff Goldblum right. popping up, which confused the fuck out of me because as soon as I saw him, he... I didn't even notice it. And then as um, I watch every time I watch a movie, you tend to watch like the tease and the Easter eggs and all this shit. And so I'm watching the Easter egg video. Uh, the thing is, uh, the guy that. Uh, with that as well, like Ed the Duck being in like the first. How the Duck? Yeah. How the Duck was in it twice. Duck, yeah, he popped How up during Duck. the film and then in a post credit scene. Yeah, but it's just uh, yeah. fucking man. He's just kind of like uh, <laughs> there you are, James Gunn. He just loves being a bit of troll, really. really like, like, that kid obviously like he was in How the Duck was in the, like the, the post credit scene in the last film. A lot of people went, "Oh yeah, the How the Duck film." Kind of, I feel this is the stuff we're going. No, it's just <laughs> this. This is shit cameo. Fuck off. <laughs> But talk about like as well, like fucking um, like fan theories. Like obviously Stan Lee was in this as well. People, the fans are going. Stan Lee's a watcher. Yeah. yeah. Someone who tunes. There's a watcher who tunes up during every pinnacle moment in any in all of Marvel history. <laughs> I feel this is like a cool thing to like go. Yes, fans, you are correct. He's a watcher. And can't the watch. So it's just some fun. So like, you're not getting a fucking. At the same time, I feel it's a, a full thing. film explanation. Yeah. No, <laughs> That's never like, gonna happen. No, it's just a cool thing. Like you're never gonna get watched in the film. You mean this? At the same time, it's a terrible thing. We're like, it's probably gonna die soon. <laughs> so here so, you go. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna do this now. That man's never gonna, gonna die because he is. Uh, the thing is, like as it's portrayed, the the watchers are not too far away from what is essentially God hmm. in the film. Yeah. So like, it literally goes from the watchers to God yeah. very quickly. So oh, yeah. they are the next like ones over. So obviously like Ego was like, I am God, I can create, destroy and everything like that. He's, he, and then you get the watchers with the aliens who went, let's see how this pans out. Yeah. But the thing is, is he a watcher or is he just the watcher's pet? Because the, the scene they got like fed up or what you say now, they fucked off like <laughs> that and talking to himself. Give me that call. <laughs> I think it's like, it's like the the thing is, like, everyone's saying, like, for years he's a watcher. But I think, like, the thing is now is, like, no, he's just made an informant of the watchers. <laughs> is this fan busy. service? Oh, oh it's, it's Japanese fan service. Like, it's not progressing to anything. It's not going to go anywhere. You're not going to get the Stan Lee story where <laughs> it's just him. No, no one's watching the Stan Lee film. <laughs> you know, uh, but if he's the constant character within the film, there is no room to not assume think, he is. You know when, like, say, for example, like, Obviously, it's going to be Infinity Wars because they're already filming it. But then to film after that, if he dies, God forbid, do you think they're like superimposing him? I, 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 in all honesty, yeah, yeah. I, I feel as if they probably don't. The thing is, but no, oh, but the, 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 the scene, no, no, but the scenes oh. they do with him. What was he called with the bloke in Rogue One? Carrie Fisher was uh, alive when they did that. What was the other bloke called? I can't remember his name. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. I know exactly what you're on about, but I can't fucking remember. Tarkin. Talking. Another character. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Peter no, Yes. Well Pete Cushing. But the thing is uh, with Stan Lee, what they could have easily have done is filmed about 15 to 20 Stan Lee scenes dressed as different pe- public servicemen, <laughs> 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 which they can easily throw <laughs> into every Just forever knocking on windows going, Tony Stank! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that it is. It's Tony Stank. <laughs> you nailed it, Stan. You nailed it. But, uh, yeah, I mean... Even if he, when he does die, they could just put a picture up of him. It could be the hidden behind, in, in a, every Marvel scene, there's just a fucking poster of him in the background. I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, when he dies, yeah. they'll, they'll just put a frame of his face in the film and just go, well, underneath it, and that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, the, right. the, um, right. the other post credit scene, uh, with Teenage Groot. Oh, yeah. Was- a scene which was okay. But all I fucking hope <laughs> is that he's fully grown by the next film. I don't I mean, need I, I a think, teenage group. I, no, I think they purposely did that. Did like kind of say he's grown up to teenage level. Yeah. So in the next film, I don't grow up again. I hope so. Just a jump. The, I don't want a full film or teenage yeah, group. They, they don't do that. It's just, it's just a jump to get to the next thing where he's adult group again. Because if he's in Finny War, he can't have a baby group running around. There's no point. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Jesus. Uh, have you got somewhere to go? I was going to say, this has been going on for quite some time. Alright, uh, sorry listeners. We're going to wrap it up then, shall we? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, rating for Guardians of the Galaxy out of 10 pieces of bread. Uh, I'm, sp- I'm going to have to give it a 9. Pieces of bread. Purely because I will probably gave an 8 to the first one. Oh, so 9 pieces of bread. 8 to the first one? I'd give 8 to the first yeah, one, yeah. Fucking idiot. What? What would you say? 10 to the first one? No. No, yeah. Uh, 97 kumquats out of a million banana breads. Yeah. Banana <laughs> bread. <laughs> I give it 10 jam sandwiches. You, to you, you can equate it. It's like 10 jam subtle sandwiches. Equation. <laughs> equation. 10 jam sandwiches out of 5 giraffes. So basically. It's a fucking great film. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's Probably the best film this year. I don't know if Pine with Logan. Mm, it's a very different film. That's yeah, a hard one to compare hard it to, yeah. yeah. They're uh, on par, but in very different worlds. Yeah. They're both great. Watch them both. Watch them both. Watch them both and enjoy them both. Yeah. And anyway, thank and you stand, for uh, and don't worry, more shit films to come because DC are coming up next. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Alien Covenant came out this weekend. We'll probably watch it sometime. Yeah, and then we'll watch and, Wonder uh, Woman and it's going to be fucking shit. I think it's fine. Thanks for so, listening, guys. Yeah. Check us out on all the official channels. Thanks, guys.